Hey, what's going on YouTube? Belton here. We are back with another That Which Was Taken video. I heard your guys' feedback on the last one, and so we are going to do things a little bit differently this time. We're going to identify all of the jewels at once, and then we are going to search for the high-value modifiers. Um, and that way, uh, you know, it won't be drawn out into an hour and a half long video. And you should get a good idea uh, of uh, what this looks like to do it en masse, um, as well as, uh, you know, for your own future uh, edification's sake, or just if you enjoy watching a gamble. Now, on top of that, I've also prepared, I mentioned this in the last video, but in case you didn't see it, I also prepared a interactive spreadsheet here. Uh, for any of you guys that um, maybe just want to look up this for your own edification, somebody that is turning in that which was taken, Jules, um, or anyone that just wants to clarify any of that information, if you check the video description below, uh, I will put a link to this spreadsheet. Um, if you want to be able to interact with it, so that is to enter data, uh, you go up here to file, and then make a copy, and just make a copy like this and you will be able to enter data in. Uh, obviously, you won't be able to edit the original, but that's the way around that. So, what does this uh, spreadsheet have? Uh, I have put together every single modifier that is possible on that which was taken, as well as their weightings, uh, and I've also formatted, uh, formatted the cells here um, so that you can find out a few things that might be of interest to you. Uh, so, for our sake here, first thing we're going to enter uh, is the amount of unidentified jewels. Since we have a quad tab, that is 400, 576. And we, pray, we paid uh, 14 divides per jewel because I bought them all in bulk a couple days ago. So you can see there, our total investment, 8,000 divines, 8,064 divines, and 7.1 mirrors. Now, the next thing that will change when you change this number here, if you see uh, there are four columns. The first one is the weighting. The second one is just the raw probability. So you can divide that by 100%. Uh, you have to multiply that number by four since there are four modifiers per jewel. And you can find out how many it takes on average. So, for example, uh, plus one projectile, which is a commonly sought after one, you can see that has a weighting of 0.05%. So multiply that by four, it's 0.2%. Uh, divide 0 0.2 by 100 divided by 0 0.2 is 500, which means if you want to hit a plus one projectile, it will take 500 uh, joules to be identified on average to hit so. Now, um, basically just extrapolating upon that information, uh, what this will calculate for you automatically is... Uh, you can just enter the amount of jewels that you are identifying, and it will tell you um, how many of each modifier you are going to get on average. So in our case, 576, right? And you'll see there, now this mod, uh, this column right here, uh, will tell you how many of each modifier you are going to get on average. Uh, the column here that I have for results, this is just so that if you want to track your own data, you can enter how many you actually got. Um, so let's say, what's another mod of interest? Uh, let's say magic utility flasks. There we go. So with 576, we can expect to get 2.91 of those. So that's that's the way that that works. And again, if you check the description below, you'll be able to have access to that. And uh, hopefully that's uh, useful for some of you guys. Um, now on the right side of the uh, chart here, you'll see that this is just a, a total list of all of the modifiers. Uh, and it is sorted by its weight. Sorry, I'll move my face. Um, and so uh, this is just so if you want to see, um, you know, the rarest to the least rare, uh, find out where it falls on that list. Or if you want to track... Um, so, for example, what we're going to do here is I'm going to identify all of them at once. Then we're going to go down to the bottom of the list here. So the rarest mods. And then we're just going to do in the search bar, we're going to type each modifier out. Um, it's not always the case that the rarest ones are the most expensive. Um, but there's often a correlation. And it's a good way for us to kind of like just progressively go out. So those of you who are interested in the longer form content, um, you know, obviously we're going to go through all of them. Those of you who just want that short dopamine hit uh, and comment on every video telling me to shut up. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, this will be condensed enough for you to, uh, uh, you know, to at least appease your attention span. So, um, what we'll be doing yeah, is going through it that way. And you can see here, uh, some of the rarest mods are impale armor applies to fire, cold and lightning. All damage can ignite plus one proj glass gain charges every three seconds. Um, and those are the five rarest. And then it, there's another bump up, uh, here to bleeding explode mana before life CDR, suppression uh prevention arcane uh suppression prevention that's the last the last one of that tier and then the next tier of rarity uh would be arcane surge minimum charges explosion on war cry uh take no damage from critical strikes when elusive magic flasks adrenaline stun ball leeching and fortified and bleeding and cursed enemies uh will explode so that's that next thing and then past that we get into um some more common modifiers so those will be the first batch that we are kind of searching out um, I will, uh, I'll, I'll probably mark the video down. Um, people keep asking me to put tam timestamps. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, the reason I don't do that is because I don't really feel like after spending like two or three hours putting together a video, the last thing I feel like doing is 
rewatching the video and looking for specific markers so I can put timestamps because people don't, you know. Um, that being said, I thought of a good compromise because I know some of you find them useful. I'll break the um, identifying sections um, in terms of where we search for the mods. Uh, I will mark down uh, the 10% or sorry, the 10 weighting to the 50 weighting. So the, it'll be the uh, the rarest mods. I'll put a timestamp for when that starts. Um, and then we'll do 100 to 250. Uh, and we'll put that as the medium rarity mods. And I'll put a timestamp for that. And then we'll do the 500 ones, which are the most common. Um, and we'll put, put, I'll put a timestamp for that. So uh, if any of you guys want to navigate between that, hopefully that is a good compromise. Um, and with that being said, I think we are uh, ready just to jump into it here. Less talk and more action. Let's go. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll search unidentified. Like that. This feels dirty doing this, by the way. This feels like, to me, a dedicated and lifelong crafter. This feels like using chat GPT for a wedding vow. What have you what what have you made me, YouTube? A little bit uh, harder to be accurate with the clicks here <laughs> in a uh, quad tab. Have to... I find it so irritating that you can't hide those um, chat alerts too. The fact that there isn't, like, you can hide local whispers, party, all guild, all that, but you can't, you can't hide stupid prompts. It drives me nuts. Especially if you have, um, especially if you have anything bound to, uh, uh, your scroll wheel, like your left click bound to your scroll wheel, uh, you'll get that notification all the time. Very irritating, especially if people are trying to trade you. Uh, do, 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 do. Wow, this isn't even very that, like, like obviously this is quick relative to yesterday, but even doing it like this, this is, uh. Takes quite a while. Probably be faster if I did it in four individual single tabs, just because it's hard to be accurate when the icons are this tiny. Sometimes people uh, tell me, leave comments on YouTube saying that uh, my mouse movement gives them anxiety, uh, and that like I I have the mouse movement of a schizophrenic uh, person. Yeah, some of the, the the creative ways in which people insult my. Uh, my mouse uh, accuracy is, is actually rather amusing. Uh, the reason for that, though, um, is that uh, when I was in the army, I fell through a frozen river and had to get spinal surgery. Um, and uh, I had nerve damage in my uh, wrist and fingers and hand from that. And so I can't feel the uh, the tips of my hands. So unless I'm like specifically focusing on something, um, it's hard for me to... Um, so like sometimes my hand will kind of shake and jiggle a little bit, um, which is why sometimes it looks a little erratic. All right, so there we go. We've identified them all. So now what's up for us? We are going to go through the list. All right, Impale. Check out Impales. One. Oh my God, it also got the flash charge. Oh. Wait, flash charge is a, a, a T1 rarity too, isn't it? It's a T2 rarity. Oh. Okay, I'm not going to overreact. All right. Maybe it's not that good. But holy shit. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to overreact. The previous video, guys, we did an entire quad tap. It took an hour and a half. We did not hit a single modifier. You can see uh, we did not hit a single modifier um, that was uh, a 20 weighting or a 10 weighting. Not one. So we didn't hit Impale, Armor Stack, Ignite, Plus One Proj, or Flaskin. 
on our very first jewel. We hit two of them. Let's go. All right, Blast Charge one, Impale one. Good start. All right, what's the next one on the list? 3% of armor. Oh, okay. 3% of armor. We got two of them. What do we get here? Endurance charge when hit. Base crit. Armor. Ignore fizz. Okay, wait, don't 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 go don't get too hyped, James. Oh my god, okay, base it's a minimum of one mirror. Minimum of one mirror. I think I think with that goes so the base crit plus the, the armor by itself, minimum of mirror. Add in endurance charge generation. The fizz reduction maybe not as much, but still not terrible. But the, the endurance charge is a very valuable one. I'm thinking that's at least a two mirror one right there. All right, let's check this bad boy. And endurance charge can't be stunned. Oh wait, no, that's by hit you block. Create a banner. Oh my god. You can tell I haven't done this that often. I, I'm super jaded with crafting, but <laughs> looking at this shit's just too exciting for me. Oh man. All right, let's check it out. Okay, three percent. Check out the banner placement. Oh, none of those exist. Endurance charge. Uh, this one, this one has double onslaught generation. That's why it's cheaper. Past that, they they go up three fifty to a mirror. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll price check them at the end, just so the video can be a little bit more concise. Um, and for those of you who are just interested in seeing the IDs, uh, we can uh, we can uh, focus on that. So we got uh, two per two of the armor ones there. Uh, in either case, uh, we're definitely looking at at least a mirror for probably both those. I have my chat hidden as well, so I don't get distracted. All damage can ignite. All right. All damage can ignite. Whoop. No way. Okay, we got zero of those. All right, now the one that most of you care about. The plus one projectile. No way. Zero again. That's crazy. Wow. That's 1,076 without a single one of those. All right. Bleeding enemies you kill explode. Uh, bleeding enemies are... Yep. All right, two of those. What do we get here? We get explode. Fizz dealt with crit. Uh, every four seconds, it regenerate 20 life, and projectiles deal damage when you go further. Okay. That's actually a pretty good synergy, because Fizz obviously ties into bleed. You could do a, a bleed builder often with a bow. I don't know how the life regen plays into that. That would have been that would have been good with the older uh, comms gloves, but what do we have here? Um. Oh, that's actually not. This is the totem's chance to explode. So we only got one of these. Okay. Kill enemies when you bleed explode. All right, we got one of those. So we're under the twenty-five weightings now. The ten weightings, the two rarest ones, are the armor and the impale. Uh, we got three of those total. Funnily enough, the twenty weightings. Uh, we only got one of those, so we didn't get an Ignite, and we didn't get a Skill Proj. Uh, which means from 1,076, we actually got zero of those. Flash Charge, we got one of them, obviously. Oh, actually, I never actually searched Flash Charge. Um, I, I just had that as a... You know, that's right. It, it came on the other one, so... Flasks gain. Nope, we didn't get any of those. Okay. Um, so then the next one, Rarity-wise, would be 3% of damage 
taken from mana before life. Oh, wow, we got... Sorry, we'll put... Uh, if you put quotations around it, it means it has to have those exact... Nope, we got zero of those two. Okay, that's 25 waiting. Uh, now we'll look into cooldown recovery. One. And two. Okay, what do we get here? Cooldown recovery, endurance charge when you stun. Area of effect for endurance charge, that synergizes. Onslaught on kill. Um, onslaught on kill, I don't... There's just a lot of ways to generate onslaught. Most people have it permanently through Mage Blood and Silver Flask, but uh, the endurance charges, that has some nice energy. What do we have here? Uh, okay, cooldown recovery, crit against enemies on full life, evasion per frenzy charge, and armor and evasion per block chance. Okay. It doesn't seem that great to me, aside from the CDR, but I've been wrong before. All right, prevent suppression. Oh, sorry, how many did we have there? That was two, right? Two of the cooldowns. All right, this is the last one for the 25. So for the, the rare mods, right, this will be uh, the, the next timestamp. We'll start in a minute here. Prevent uh, uh, suppressed. All right, we got four of those. All right, let's take a look. 25% increased effect of marks. Throw up traps, life regen, and prevent 5 to 6% of suppressed spell damage while on full ES. And here we got uh, prevent 6% uh, of suppressed spell damage when on full ES. Uh, free shock ignite, area of effect per endurance charge, and crit if you haven't dealt a crit recently. Here we got the prevent suppression. Uh, minions have additional fizz reduction. 10% uh, chance for ES uh, recharge to start when you suppress spell damage. That's kind of cool. That synergizes pretty well with the uh, top mod. And then when you create a banner, it gains 19% of the stages. of. Okay. And then here we got uh, throw additional traps, hexes uh, against hexproof, uh, regen when you consume a corpse, and prevent on full ES. All right. So there we go. There are our tier one rarities. So we got 10 of those in total. I'll put those over on the right side. Or not tier one rarities, sorry, but like the per our somewhat arbitrary classification of which ones are the rarest. Um, and so maybe, maybe we'll highlight these. Uh, there we go. In green, then we'll do these ones in yellow. In fact, sorry, you know what? We'll do. We'll do. We'll do uh, We'll do this section from 50 to 125, and then we'll do 250 separately, and then we'll do 500 separately. Um, because the uh, there's actually quite a few of these. So let's mark down where that is. 50 to 125, we'll mark that down as yellow. And then we'll go orange for the, uh, the 250s. And then we'll go red for the 500s. Right. So, what's our first one up here? Arcane Surge. Well, actually, you know what? we'll do three of them at a time. So we got Arcane Surge, um, War Cry Explode, and Minimum Charges. Arcane Surge. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Holy cow. We got seven of uh, the minimum charges. We got uh, three of the again arcane surges. And we got one of the explodes. Take a look at those now. All right. So we got the uh, plus one minimum uh, power and endurance. 10% uh, chance to recover mana when you use a skill. Wither on hit and hinder enemies on hit with spells. Next, we got um, minimum charges. If you've cast a spell recently, chance to block spell damage. Base crit. 
with power charge and um, effective curses. Next, we've got uh, gain endurance charge when you're hit. Accuracy rating if you've dealt uh, critical strike recently. Uh, projectiles gain damage as they travel further and minimum charges. Ooh, banner has no reservation. That's a good one. Um, this one, we've got uh, crit if you have not crit recently. Uh, minions have fizz reduction. Banner skills have no reservation and the minimum charges. We've got uh, minimum charges, ig reduced ignite duration, movement speed cannot be brought below base value, and effective withered. Uh, War cries grant rage per five power. Um, shocks uh, from your hits always increase damage taken. Uh, AoE if you've killed recently, and minimum charges. I'm just realizing something as well. Um, sorry, I'll get this last one here. Um, oh, cool. Look at this. This one synergizes interestingly. All right, here we've got um, minimum endurance and power charge. Then we've got power charge on crit and evasion rating for frenzy charge. Very charge oriented. Uh, and then we also got to increase critical chance if you have not crit recently. Sorry, the thing I wanted to point out, um, we're not actually, for the sake of this video, uh, well, maybe um, rather than doing um, all of them by the rarity, I just realized that um, obviously the ones that I'm pulling out that are the rarest also have modifiers from the other ones. Uh, so in order to actually correctly calculate them, we would have to uh, put them back in each time. Um, and uh, that'll, that'll just take too long for the video's sake. So just, just for the sake of kind of, you know, demonstrating the rarity of these or whatever, um, we'll go through and we'll do all of the ones that are green and yellow. So we'll do... Uh, Yeah, we'll do green and yellow, uh, up to 125s. Uh, and then past that, we can look for the ones that are valuable. For example, plus two to added uh, max res, uh, fire resistance. That's a pretty good one. Um, you know, uh, what are some other ones here? Maybe proj. Uh, we'll just get some to throw out. In fact, maybe at that time, I'll, I'll open Twitch chat. I'll bring them up on the screen, and those guys can suggest certain ones to look for for us, um, just to get uh, some... Um, some idea of what uh, other people are looking for mod-wise in case uh, you guys watching on YouTube are curious about that. All right, so for this next one, we got Arcane Surge. Um, so gain Arcane Surge when you or your totems hit enemies with a spell. Uh, suppression, life regenerate, and can't take reflected elemental damage. That's pretty nice. Okay, we got Max Rage. Uh, fizz damage if you've dealt a crit recently. Gain Arcane Surge if you've hit with a spell. And Chaos Reds per Endurance. We got Max Res. <clears throat> sorry, max res, max rage, strength and int, cannot be stunned while fortified, and gain arc arcane surge when you hit with a spell. And uh, we've got area of effect per endurance charge. Nearby corpses explode when you war cry, dealing 6% of their life as fizz damage, 5% of max mana as energy shield, and enemies you kill that are affected by ailments grant increased charges. This seems pretty good, actually. All right. Uh, let's, uh, go on to these next ones here. We got, uh, you take no extra damage, uh, from critical strikes while elusive. We got two of those. 6% strength. Uh, 2% attack damage, uh, leeches life if you've killed recently. Max rage, and no, you take no additional damage. Uh, then we've got, uh, cannot be blinded. Culling strike. Take no extra crit damage while elusive and effective curses. Um, this next one that we're looking up is uh, the Magic Flask one, which, uh, in my opinion, is probably one of the best ones. Ooh, these next ones are going to kind of exciting. We've got Adrenaline, Magic Flask. Right, what else is in Kratos in this category here? Ooh, Reservation Efficiency. Those are really the big ticket ones. Who are we kidding? All right, Magic Flask. Three of them. Like I like what I see. In fact, you know what? We'll do all these ones at once. Okay. Um, oh my god, we got reservation. Oh! We got six reservation efficiencies. Oh! Okay. And then what was the other one I said? Oh, yeah, adrenaline. 
five adrenalines. Oh boy. All right, this is gonna be fun. All right. Number one. Base power charge. Okay, base crit with power charges. Magic flasks have increased effect. Increased effect of non-damaging ailments and chance to recover when you use a skill. That is lit. What's magic flask plus base crit? One mirror. Okay, next one. Magic flasks have increased effect. Effect of your marks. Shocks always da uh, increase damage taken by at least 10% and AoE per power charge. Oh, this looks good. Oh, this looks very good. Frenzy charge on hit. Magic flasks have increased effect. Culling strike and hits have a 10% chance to do 50% more area damage. This has got to be worth fucking a mirror at least. I don't know. Again, the pricing of these has always seems rather subjective. Holy shit. Just those two mods alone. Oh my god. Okay, boys. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So, not in, not including the fact that we have cola and 10% chance to do 50% more damage. Just frenzy and utility flasks as a bare minimum of one mirror. Let's take a look at what's there. If the jewel that we're looking at is over a mirror, we'll take the time to look into it, okay? Uh, I know, I know, a bunch of guys on YouTube are, uh, you know, always get a little fussy about the uh, the length of these, but I think this is uh, that merits uh, some independent looking. Okay, here's one with culling strike, five five mirrors. Why don't we check online, offline as well? Because there's two of them, why is there... Am I blind? Where's the next one? Hmm, guess I'm blind. Okay, calling strike, and then, uh... Ooh. Where uh, it's 24 days old. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll look into that further afterwards. I think that that's going to be probably uh, at least, uh, if I had to guess, I would say that this one's going to be at least two to three mirrors. All right. Let's check the next one here. We're on to, oh, sorry. That was, uh, well, we had three of them that had magic utility flasks, right? Okay, and then the next one we're going to be checking is uh, Reservation. Okay. Alright. Oh my god, we got double Reservation. Oh, this one looks good. Banner skills have no Reservation. Increased Mana Reservation Efficiency of Skills. Hits have a 10% chance to deal 50% more area damage. And life gain on hit per bleeding enemy. Let's just see the banner plus the RMR. Oh my god! <laughs> we have another one that's at least a mirror. GG! Just those two mods. Uh, just to get the, the banner skills have no reservation and the... Uh... That's awesome. Wicked. Alright. There's another mirror one. Okay, mana reservation efficiency number two. And we got uh, RMR, 12%. Increased buff effect granted by your golems. 4% evasion rating uh, per one um, maximum energy shield equipped on your helmet. That's very good for armor stackers. Kills from your hits always reduce action speed by at least 6%. Yep. 
RMR number three. We got 12% RMR. Hits have a 10%. Wow, we've hit this mod three times in a row. Hits have 10% chance to deal 50% more damage. 15% suppression. Very good mod. Regenerate 5% of mana over two seconds when you consume a corpse. Woo, look at that. Suppression plus RMR. Actually, sorry, let me reduce the values. 196. That's significantly cheaper. Let's see what else that one's got. Um, okay, that one's going to be probably about a half a mirror, it looks like. Okay. RMR number three. Or no, sorry. RMR number four. Uh, we've got uh, reservation efficiency. Projectiles have a chance to chain when they collide with terrain. Crit multi for power charge and effective curses. Ooh, that's nice. Crit multi for power charge and RMR. Take a look at those. We might, we might be the, you know, again, these are, these are quite difficult to, to price, but I think that might be around the one mirror range as well. And, and again, uh, these prices again are highly subjective and these are not incredibly liquid things. As I mentioned in the first video, uh, even though these have a perspective value, um, you know, you're not going to be selling them, uh, with any kind of, uh, uh, regularity. That being said though, if they do go legacy or if they, um, you know, the wildwood is removed and so charms get removed. If those aren't added to the core game, um, these are obviously become exponentially stronger since the they will be the singular source of those mods. So, uh, yeah, plus these are really fun to ID. It's kind of like a mini ascendancy every time a little slot machine. All right, so we've got uh, that was four RMR. So this is our fifth RMR. We got uh, twelve percent RMR, onslaught on kill, power charge on crit, and overkill leeched. Wait, so we get reservation onslaught char power charges and leech from one jewel here. That's very nice. Functionally, I don't know if it's gonna be worth a bunch. Let's take a look. Oh wow! Okay, overkill leech. And that. All right, we're probably looking at a few hundred divines there. That's five hundred. Okay, so that's uh that's five reservation efficiencies. Here's our sixth one. RMR life regenerate. Totems uh, taunt enemies around them when summoned and cannot be stunned while leeching. That's, uh, cannot be stunned while leeching is a good one. Okay, probably another uh, couple hundred divs there, perhaps. Oh, you know what? Instead of me uh, speculating on the, um, the values of these... Um, Unless it's something that's in the one mirror range, we'll stop and look at those. If it's under a mirror, if it looks like it's under a mirror, um, I'll just leave that alone. And I'll, I'll post on my community section on YouTube uh, when I give an update of like what the you know the end, the final state was. All right, so we had six RMRs. That's quite exceptional. Okay, six RMRs. And now we're doing adrenaline. And we've got five of those. Okay, Frenzy Charge on hit with Adrenaline. Oh, sick. Uh, chance to cover rare or unique enemies in Ash. Um, gain Adrenaline. And if you've attacked recently, you and nearby allies have increased block chance. I have a feeling this one's going to be worth a ton. Great limited. Okay, it looks like it's about 160 divs just for those two mods. Oh, wait, sorry, what we say? <laughs> I, uh, I just said that we won't do it unless it's immediately over. Okay, so the next one here. Uh, adrenaline. Exposure um, applies an, an extra uh, minus 7 to the effective resistance. Projectiles have no spread. And hits ignore monster fizz reduction. Okay. We got uh, taunt on hit. Projectiles have a chance to, to chain when they collide with terrain. Increase AoE per endurance charge and adrenaline when you reach low life. Ooh. Wait, let's lower the value. Ne never mind, I redact the ooh. Okay. 
Next one, area of effect for power charge. Chance to throw up to five, four additional traps. Uh, adrenaline when you reach low life and buffs granted by your golems. And the last adrenaline one here, we got adrenaline when you reach low life. Gain 12% of physical damage as extra damage of a random element. If you've attacked recently, you and nearby allies have increased block uh, damage chance. And f ooh, recover 5% of life when you use a flask. Okay, that's definitely a mirror one, boys. This one's for sure a mirror one. The the adrenaline, yeah, for sure. This this one's gonna be a big ticket one there. The combination of life regen when you use a flask, um, fizz damage taken is extra, and the adrenaline that's that's quite spectacular. I think the uh, the chance to block doesn't synergize that well, but I think that one's probably gonna be over a mirror as well. All right, cool. We're doing we're doing great so far here. Um. Stunned while leeching. Cannot be stunned while... Okay, we'll do all three of these at the same time here, because they're stunned. Not... Holy shit, look how many there are. Clear out our inventory here. And we're gonna have to do it one at a time. Okay, with leeching, we've got three. Uh, well, fortified. We got three leeching, two fortified. And what was the third one? Um, I thought there were three of them. Well, my mistake, there's only the two at that rarity level. Okay, so, uh, cannot be stumbled fortified, cannot be stunned by leeching. Uh, then we got, uh, cursed enemies where your minions have 15 chance to explode. Oops. One, two, three, four, and five. We have five of those bad boys. And you are unaffected by bleeding while leeching. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Four five and six we got six of those all right so that would be the last these were the last ones of the uh so we'll check all four of these ones quickly those were the last of the 50 um waiting so we got cannot be stunned while leeching uh chance to gain onslaught on kill damage penetrates ellie res and recoup damage taken by your totems is life next one we got cannot be stunned while leeching effective onslaught on you uh chance to gain onslaught on kill it's a nice synergy totems taunt en enemies when summoned Next one, we got uh, cannot be stunned while fortified, removes bleeding when you use a flask, overkill leeches life and culling strike. Next one, we got uh, cannot be stunned while leeching, uh, three percent of damage taken from hits uh, is taken from your nearest totem's life before you. Minions have twelve percent additional fizz reduction and eight percent strength. Uh, then we got cannot be stunned while fortified. Remove bleeding when you use a flask. Culling strike. And recover a life, mana, and DS on kill. All right, moving on to our explodey ones. Okay, fifteen percent chance to suppress spell damage. Cursed enemies you or your minions kill have a fifteen percent chance to explode, dealing a quarter of their life as chaos damage. Three percent increased poison duration for each poison you have inflicted recently upon a max or sorry up up to a maximum of one hundred percent. And regenerate 4% of ES over 2 seconds when you consume a corpse. That has a ton of different synergies there. Um, especially the explosions and the... Yeah, that's, I think there's probably some value there. Okay, uh, next explosion one. We got uh, 
we got the I'll just call it chaos explode. You got we got the chaos explodey mod. Uh, then we've got you and your anima nearby enemies have 20% to all elemental resistances. Chills from your hits always reduce action speed by at least 5%. And add fizz damage, uh, flat fizz, if you've dealt a crit recently. That also synergizes as well with that. Whoop. Okay, the next one. Evasion rating per frenzy charge, uh, chaos explode, max rage, and recoup damage taken by your totems is life. We got chaos explode, cannot be stunned by hits you block. Effective auras from mines um, and fizz damage taken if you've dealt the crit recently. Next one, we've got uh, Chaos Explode. Increased accuracy rating if you've dealt the crit re in the last 8 seconds. Regenerate 4% um, over of ES over 2 seconds when you consume a corpse. And regenerate 4% of mana over 2 seconds when you consume a corpse. Oh, up to 5%. That's cool. That's, a, that's an interesting synergy there. Huh. It's kind of a neat one. All right, what are we on to here? Uh, unaffected by bleeding, I think. All right, so we've got 7% increased strength. Uh, remove bleeding when you use a flask. AoE if you've killed recently. And unaffected by bleeding while leeching. Uh, kind of uh, a bit overkill there. Get the double bleed mod. We got uh, Culling Strike. Increased effective buffs guaranteed by your golems. To totems taunt. And unaffected by bleeding while leeching. Next up, we got uh, you and your allies have uh, 22 elemental res. AoE per endurance charge, unaffected by bleeding while leeching, and war cries gain four rage, five rage per five power if you have less than twenty five rage. Uh, we got suppression, taunt on hit, no spread on projectiles, unaffected by bleeding while leeching. Uh, curse effect, uh, hexes on hex proof, fizz as extra random element, and unaffected by bleeding while leeching. And then we've got minions have twenty two percent chance to gain unholy might and kill, twenty two percent chance to gain twenty five percent of non-chaos damage with hits as extra chaos damage. Attack hits against bleeding enemies have a chance to blind and unaffected by bleeding while leeching. All right. So that wraps up the... Uh, those are all of the weightings up until 50. So that, uh, that so far we've covered 10% uh, weighting, 20% weighting, 25% weighting, and the 50 weightings. Um... As well as a couple other ones. So at this stage, uh, I think what we're going to do, because the video is already looking like it's 42 minutes, um, we're now going to open up. So Twitch chat, time to jump in, boys. Let's um, let's hear some mods that you guys think to search for specifically. So why don't we look up, um, for example, 2% uh, fire res. Max fire res is, is, is one um, that is basically necessary for transcendence builds. We'll look that up. Uh, there's the totem explode one. That's usually pretty expensive. Uh, so totem explode. Sorry, the 500% fire explode. Let's do plus two to max fire res. Um, we can also go through the list here too. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, instant leech. Wither on hip. Oh, banner skills have no reservation. Recover life with blast. Uh, Mr. Isolator. And Ayakasha, um, let's assume let's assume that I'm not an AI, and uh, I read sentences as they're written. Let's let's try. They're usually only about eight words. All right, Twitch chat. Let's write. Let's write the full the full. <laughs> you want me to look one up? Please type it out in full, okay? Hey, what's up, good boy? Banner skills have no reservation, so we'll look that one up. Uh, what do you want here? Recover life with flask. Okay. Okay, we'll check percentage strength. Um.
Oh, Frenzy on hit. Oh, the base crit for power. Uh, let's see, crit multi for power. Poison enabling. Phasing an onslaught on hit. I don't think the uh, onslaught on hit. I don't think is well. Onslaught on hit isn't actually a mod anyway. It's, I think it's onslaught on kill. Uh, I don't think that's a very valuable one though. Can we check? Up? We can check poison. And then I'm um, oh and culling strike too. Just bland old culling strike. I think it's probably some value. Um. Poison duration. I just hit a pretty interesting poison duration one, good boy. I don't play poison builds because uh, I haven't been poor for a very long time, but um, damage caps? Yeah, no thank you. Um, joking aside though, what was it here? Uh, oh yeah, here. Check this out. 15% suppression. Yeah. Uh, explode with chaos and poison duration. It seems like it's it would be quite good. All right, so we've got a list here. Why don't we go down that list now? I'll move that on my second screen. Um, so let's show you. first one is the 500% fire explode. All right. I'm not sure if it's very valuable. Uh, the, 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 whole, the whole purpose of asking chat was for, for people to put out ones that they thought were valuable. But we've got a good list to go off here. Okay, 500%. All right, we got one, two, three, four. We got four of those. And then we'll go max res. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Instant leech. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Holy crap, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen instant leeches. Wither on hit. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Holy cow, we got we got a lot to go off of already. Um, I'm sure that some of these are obviously gonna have some of those other mods too. So why don't we start off with here? So we got uh, we've only covered four of them. So explode, fire, explode. But uh, how many do we have there? So we got four fire explodes. And we got um, fire mattress. We got 11. Eleven of those. Uh, instant leech. We got 15. A wither on hit. We got 14. All right, cool. Now we can just go through. Oop. 
All right, number one, we got uh, to uh, enemies you or your totems kill have a 1% chance to explode, dealing 5% of their maximum life as fire damage. I'm just going to refer to that as explode from now on. Um, effect of withered. Docks from your hits all always increase damage taken by at least 10% and chance to hinder on hit or with spell hit. Chance to freeze shock and ignite. Offerings have increased effect. Totem 500% explode. Uh, hits ignore fizz reduction. We got uh, 500 explode. Uh, overkill leeches life. Remove bleeding when you use a flask. And regenerate mana when you consume a corpse. Actually, you know what? We'll bring Twitch chat up here. Because um, I can't look over at my other monitor. I'll put you guys right in the middle there. So the guys watching on YouTube can see um, can see what uh, you guys are typing as well. Let me move you over a little bit. Alright. Okay, we got a uh, chance to free shock and ignite. Um, we got a chance to throw up four additional traps. We got a totem explode. Uh, sorry, 500% explode and it hits ignore fizz. By the way, a bunch of these ones, if I'm just glossing past something you think is very expensive, feel free to uh, alert me to that. Alright, now we're moving on to the uh, max fire reses. So we got uh, max res, accuracy if you've dealt crit recently. Consecrated ground. Oh, chance to create consecrated ground when you hit a rare or unique. Uh, hinder on hit with spells. Um. Oh, Russia's up in the house. Good boy TV. The Ruski. Fucking Captain America and Captain Captain Russia teaming up together while we sit in the chair. It's like the the allies combating, working together, fighting the axis of evil. All right, all you Germans in chat, be warned. We're coming for you. All right, uh, max res, AOE per power charge. Uh, accuracy if you've dealt a crit in the past eight seconds. And while there are at least, <coughs> sorry, while there are at least five nearby allies, uh, you and nearby allies have onslaught. Uh, max percent, sorry, increased strength percentage. Max fire res, accuracy. Did we hit accuracy three times in a row? Accuracy. Dude, that's so crazy. Look at that. Max so we got fire res with accuracy on crit. Max res with fire sorry, max res with accuracy on crit. Max res with accuracy on crit. What are the odds of having that happen three times in a row? Astronomically low, I would imagine. Anyway, sorry, six percent strength, two percent max fire res, accuracy on crit, and regen mana over consuming a corpse. Streak has been broken. Wind and you shall receive. Thank you for the tip, Gen Z. All right, uh, max res, uh, ignite duration reduced, AO, uh, effective curses, and AOE if you've killed recently. Uh, max res, uh, effective curses, chills from your hits always reduce action speed. Corpses you spawn have increased life. Okay, max res, frenzy on hit, taunt on hit, attacks against blinded enemies have a chance to maim. Um, frenzy on hit and max res, uh, those synergize, those are good for uh, armor stacker. Uh -huh. 120. Okay, max res. Ooh. Oh, shit, this one's got three of them. Okay, this one's going to be money, boys. This has three armor stacking mods, uh, assuming they're using original sin. Uh, you got 2% max fire res. You and nearby allies have 20% to elemental resistances. Chance to inflict withered on hit and... Totems taunt enemies around them for two seconds when summoned. Let's check that out. We should be able to find one that has all three of those. Check online and offline. Eleven days ago. For two mirrors. These ones were post both posted over a month ago. I think that one's probably worth uh, a mirror range at least though. All right, uh, next one. Max fire res, uh, gain life for bleeding enemy hit, increased elusive effect, uh, chance to block if you cast a spell recently. Max res, bleeding life gain on hit, evasion rating for frenzy charges, totems taunt when summoned. Max res, ignore fizz reduction, effect of marks, minions have reduced fizz reduction. And then um, we got max res, chance to gain endurance charge when you stun. When you create a banner, it gains 22. Thank you for the sub. Uh, dog mod um i don't know if this is a freudian slip uh i was about to read your name as uh dom god dom god 
which is completely ironic because you subbed at the same time. He's the god of doms, but he's also a sub. Oh, the world's backwards. Do not Google anything I just said. All right, moving on. Thank you. Um, Max Fires, chance to gain an endurance charge when you stun, uh, when you create a banner, and recoup damage totem taken light life. Okay. Pack those away. Oop. Next one. Oh, it looks like we're moving on to the uh, instant leeches here. So we got uh, damage from crits cannot be reflected. Uh, golem buff uh, cannot be stunned with rage and instant leech. Instant leech charge duration um, accuracy if you dealt the crit. Free shock ignite. Instant leech uh, extra exposure. Attacks have a chance to blind and hexproof. We got 8% instant leech. Fizz damage uh, added as extra damage of a random element. Increased accuracy rating if you've dealt a crit recently. And movement speed cannot be uh, modified below base value. This one actually seems like it would be pretty good. Maybe not. Okay. Um... Area of effect for power charge, leech, buff by golem, and minion fizz. At, at this point, maybe I'll stop reading them out loud unless it's one that I think is like good enough to read out loud. Because uh, that'll, that'll expedite the process quite a bit. Um, this has got uh, cold plus leech. That might actually... The two of those might... Yeah, at least 100 divs just for those two mods. Um, power charge on crit and instant leech on this one. Ooh, onslaught on kill, instant leech, and percent strength. One of the difficulties with this, uh, in my opinion, is that it's hard to distinguish um, if you're like a non-sophisticate, like if you haven't done this a bunch of times and you're not actively monitoring the market. Um, I find myself experiencing this actively as it's happening. Um, distinguishing between what is good slash cool um, and what kind of like sparks your interest, which really should be the most important thing at the end of the day, I suppose. Um, and what's, you know, being valued by the market, right? Sometimes those two things don't necessarily align. Um, this one looks like it. This is actually, uh, to me, seems very good. Um, energy shield recharge, 3% per second. 1% uh, base crit uh, while at max charges and instant leech. That seems very good for like CI. Like if you're playing something like um, Forbidden Right, uh, I think. Oh, that's because I'm. That's because I was looking up mana. Ah, I take it back. Only 50 dips. Apologies. There's uh, <laughs> exactly what I was just talking about. All right. Leeches instant. Um, attack damage leeches life and mana if you've killed recently. Max rage and fizzes a random extra. Effective onslaught on you. Uh, fizzes extra leech and buff by golem. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, chance to gain non-chaos is extra chaos and instant leech. Endurance charge when hit. Uh, area of effect per endurance charge. Um, instant leech and skills that would summon a totem instead have a chance to summon two totems. That's actually kind of cool because that's got a, that's got some sort of cross synergy there. Hey, recover, recover life mana and ES on kill. Uh, instant leech, onslaught on kill, and exposure does additional minus. Area of effect if you kill recently. Uh, wither effect, mirage, archer duration, and armor and evasion per block. 
projectile chain frenzy on hit effect with with ooh can't say oh my god this one's very i mean this again this looks very good a projectile chain frenzy on hit wither on hit and cannot be stunned if you have rage let's wither on hit plus frenzy on hit have to look into that one further Okay, uh, chance to get an endurance charge when you are hit. Uh, chance to inflict withered on hit. Cannot be stunned by hits you block. Um, damage from totem instead of you. Offerings have increased effect. Base crit, wither on hit. Hinder enemies with spells. And I'm rate limited. Uh, reduced ignite duration. Chance to taunt. Enemies that you kill are gain additional charges. Wither on hit. Percent strength, uh, wither on hit. Warcry is granted additional power. Ooh, that actually synergizes well. Right? Because, uh, I mean, for a strength stacker, you do an original sin, you're going to be using the Warcry's anyways. Fuck. Very limited. I'll look that one up in a minute. Um, pulling Strike. Uh, chance to inflict Withered on hit for two seconds. Chaos res for Endurance Charge. Barrages have no spread. Evasion for Frenzy. Wither on hit. Uh... Attack damage, leeches, mana, and life if you have killed recently. Barrage, no spread. Evasion for Frenzy. Wither on hit. Project on no spread. Sorry, I just did that one. Um, minion reduction for Fizz. Wither on hit. Mirage, Archer duration. Attack speed when you hit a rare or unique. 40 to strike that int. Phasing on kill. Wither on hit. Cover in ash. Ooh. How is that possible? How is this? This is telling me that there isn't a single that which was taken with strength. You can't surf for sash on the jewels. It's bugged. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. All right, um, chance to blind enemies on hit, life when you use a flask, wither on hit, and minions have unholy might, block attack damage, onslaught on kill, mirage archer, and wither, uh, recover mana when you use a skill, wither, attacks, grant bleed, war cries, five power, block, onslaught, wither, archer, offerings, taunt, reflect, wither, blah, 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 okay. So we got some cool ones there. I, I feel like this video is going to be pretty much the exact same length as the previous one, uh, unfortunately. Uh, for those of you who uh, do not like the longer videos, for those folks watching on YouTube, but um, hopefully the you know more expedited way we approach this off the uh, onset will be of higher interest. All right. Um, okay, so banner skills... Oh, we got uh, 13 of those. All right, increased strength, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 
And then we had what, how many previously? 21 plus 6. We had 20, 27 of those. Holy cow. Okay, we got Frenzy Charge on hit times four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then we wanted to look up poison duration, right? So that's the big one. We got uh, poison duration one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Oh, shit, 13. Right. And I will update that here quickly. So we got uh, poison duration. We got 13 of them. Uh, we got uh, Frenzy on hit. Um, 13 of those as well. We got Strength Percentage. That's crazy. We got 27 Strength Percentages. Um... Vander skills have no reservation. One, two, two on top of that. So fifteen banner skills have no reservation. All right, so that's updated now. Let's take a look through them. All right, banner skills have no reservation. Strength and int. Endurance charge when you stun, nearby enemies are chilled. Uh, accuracy on crit. You and allies have res, offering seven crazed effect. No bad, the banner mod. Onslaught on kill. Enemies that you, you kill are affected by ailments. Grant 35% fast charges. Uh, attack hits uh, against bleeding enemies have a chance to blind. Uh, totems taunt enemies when summoned. Reduced ignite duration. Yes, regen per second. Banners, no reservation. Ooh, 40% increased effect of non-damaging ailments when you, uh, you inflict with crits. Removes bleed when you use a flask. Banner skills have no reservation and increased leech recovery rate. Have a cool synergy. Okay. Uh, ES when you consume a corpse. Uh, gain fizz as a random element. Free shock ignite. Banners, no reservation. Phasing and banner. Banner skills have no reservation, cannot take reflected damage, chaos res per endurance charge, and leech if you've killed. Uh, ES regen on consuming a corpse, uh, flat fizz if you've dealt a crit, buffs by golems, and banner reservation. Banner reservation, nearby enemies are chilled, corpse you spawn, and crits have cr uh, cull. Banner reservation cannot be stunned with rage, remove curses and ailments every four seconds, and your hexes can work on hexproof. Recoup uh, damage taken by totems. Uh, endurance charge when you are hit. Cannot be blinded. Uh, okay, 6% strength. Maximum uh, recovery per leech. Melee hits have a chance to fortify. Overkill damage leeched as life. That's kind of interesting. Uh, strength percent. Uh, flash charges uh, for enemies with ailments. Max rage. Corpses you spawn. 8% strength. Gain 11% of fizz damage as extra damage of a random element. When you create a banner, it uh, gains 22% of the stages of your place banner. If you've cast a spell recently, you get block. 8% strength. Multi against burning enemies. Crit against shocked enemies. Cannot be stunned while you have at least 25 rage. 
Minions gain added fizz damage equal to 10% ES in your helmet. 7% strength, recover mana when you use a skill, phasing, and skills that would summon a totem, summon two totems. 8% strength, evasion rating per frenzy charge. Enemies that you kill, grant additional flash charges. Ooh. Poison duration for each poison you've inflicted recently, up to a maximum of 100%. Interesting. Uh, we got strength, crit multi against burning enemies. Uh, nearby enemies cannot gain charges. Gain an endurance charge when you stun enemies and increase crit against shocked enemies. Strength, blind on hit. 3% damage from hits is taken by totems instead of you. Regen mana when you consume a corpse. Uh, hexproof, phasing, uh, mirage archer, and strength percentage. Uh, strength percentage on my security company, sorry. Uh, strength percentage, um, evasion rating, pour 1 ES on your helmet. Cannot take uh, reflected fizz damage. Cannot be stunned while you have at least 25 rage. Strength percent, max rage. If you cast a spell, gain block, armor, and evasion per block percent. 7% strength, evasion rating per frenzy. Explosion, exposure applies additional negative resistance. Max rage. Strength percent, ES regen per second, war cries, grant rage per power if you have less than rage. Regenerate ES when you consume a corpse. Offerings have increased effect, effective marks, phasing, and strength percent. Strength percent, block increase, uh, gain additional charges from uh, enemies you killed affected by ailments. Exposure applies additional negative res. 7% strength, mark effect, hexes effect, hex proof, and chills always reduce action speed. ES regen, evasion per frenzy charge. You and nearby allies, allies, <laughs> allies gain additional resistances. And strength percent, strength percent cannot take reflected fizz damage. Chance to take less area damage from hits. Summon two totems. Strength percent accuracy rating if you've dealt a crit recently. Buff by golem charge duration. Cannot take reflected Ellie damage. Additional flash charges. Free shock ignite. Strength percent. Whew. Uh, suppression, strength percent, armor and evasion per block, nearby allies onslaught, frenzy on hit, overkill leeches life, accuracy and uh, attacks uh, have a chance to blind, frenzy on hit, bleeding on hit, chaos res per endurance, minion fizz reduction, frenzy on hit, uh, fizz damage as extra of a random element, uh, leech if kill recently, and ES regen if you consume a corpse. Cannot be stunned with rage, bleeding on life gained on hit, mana when you use a skill, frenzy on hit, frenzy on hit, phasing on kill, exposure applies additional negative res, recoup damage taken by totems, um, frenzy on hit, free shock ignite, uh, bleeding on hit, life gain for bleeding on hit, attack speed if you've hit a rare recently, Cri frenzy on hit, endurance charge when you are, oh this is cool, look at this, look at every one of these is on hit. Uh, frenzy on hit, gain an endurance charge when you are hit, global chance to blind enemies on hit, chance to create consecrated ground on hit. <laughs> that's kind of neat. I don't even care if that's that's uh, <laughs> that's just fun to say. Three hundred and fifty dev. Yeah, that's worth a decent amount too. All right, frenzy on hit. Charge duration, poison duration, strength and int. That's kind of cool. Evasion rating per frenzy charge and frenzy charge on hit. That synergizes well. Gain max mana as extra maximum energy shield. And chance to recoup mana when you use a skill. Uh, ES life mana on kill. Hex hex proof. Uh, fizz is an extra element. Uh, poison duration. Crit multi per power charge. Uh, chance to recover mana when you use a skill. Uh, hits have chance to deal more damage. More area damage, sorry. Uh, poison duration. Block attack damage percent. Uh, recover life when you use a flask. Increase poison duration per poison. Recoup uh, damage per totem. Overkill leeches life. Poison duration. Uh, regenerate energy shield when you consume a corpse. And effective withered. Cannot be blinded. 
Chance to gain non-chaos is extra chaos. Poison duration per each poison. Minions gain uh, fizz uh, equal to extra ES. Offering effect, minions have additional fizz damage. Of, uh, effect of golems, um, poison duration per poison. Gain mana uh, as extra ES. Chance to avoid ailments while phasing. Onslaught with nearby enemies. Poison duration. ES regen percent. Fizz damage uh, as extra damage. Poison duration per poison and effect of withered. Culling strike. Chance to avoid ailments while phasing. Uh, throw additional traps and poison duration. Accuracy if you've crit. Armor evasion per block percent. Uh, attack and... Uh, sorry, attack leech on kill. Poison duration. Reduced ignite duration. Chance to gain endurance charge on stun. Poison duration, max rage. Effective curses. Non-damaging ailments have a 31% reduced effect on you while you have arcane surge. Hits have a 7% chance to deal more area damage, 50% more, and poison duration. Okay. That is becoming a mouthful, lads. I think at this point, uh, we'll stop because the video is already uh, 1 hour and 15 minutes long. Uh, just for the sake of not wanting to take up anyone's time who does want to watch this in duration. I think for now, what we'll do with these last ones, guys, is just hover over them. I'm just going to hover over them in the uh, the tab as they sit there. And if we see any that, um, uh, you know, for myself, obviously, I'm not the best at, <laughs> obviously, not the best at uh, just guessing their prices, I guess. Um, or, you know, gauging what they are just by looking at them, but... Hopefully a couple stick out. If you guys, uh, if you don't mind helping me out, Twitch chat, keep you guys up here for the YouTube video. If you see one that I, I glance over that you think is worth something, let me know. I won't be actively reading Twitch chat while I scroll through these, but I can revisit any ones that I missed at the end. The ones I'm control clicking in my inventory are ones that take a look at at the end. I'm not gonna lie, my uh, like looking this like uh, looking this quickly and acutely at like this many modifiers, my eyes are uh, I'm getting like a little cross-eyed right now. Uh,
um, as well. Sorry, my phone. You might, might be hearing my phone. My uh, my brother, who's uh, 14 months older than me, uh, his uh, fiance just went into labor um, while I uh, right before I started recording this video. Uh, he's about to have his first son, and it'll be my first nephew. So I suggested that uh, send him a text earlier. Suggested he name him Max, so his next daughter can be named Min. Alright, um, okay, uh, that's pretty good, whole curse, yeah, sorry I'm looking at these a little slowly, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can relate to the phenomenon I'm, I'm, I'm feeling right now, but it might just be because it's in a quad tab, and so everything's a little bit tinier. Um, but I'm definitely getting a little... Um, uh, cross out here. Onslaught. Um, Yeah, you know what? There's no way. This is going to take an extra, like, hour to do this on Twitch. Uh, sorry, for YouTube. Um, and uh, there's no way that this is going to be entertaining to watch. So how about we say this, YouTube folks? I will go through this with the guys on Twitch here. Um, so I can allow myself to take a minute now. I, I might actually just go have a smoke and just give my eyes a little rest. Just because I've been uh, so acutely focusing on these mods for, what, hour and 20 minutes now? Um, and uh, if there's anything really cool that pops up, anything, let's say, over a mirror, um, I will post. Uh, so in the description uh, for the video below... Um, I will post a link to the uh, spreadsheet here. Um, I'll continue to fill this out. Let me hide though. Hide Twitch chat there. Uh, I'll continue to fill this out um, as we progress through here so I can see what my actual results were compared to our expectations and just give myself like a ballpark. I'll probably take the ones that are 500 divines, 400, like let's say half a mirror kind of range, maybe a third of a mirror and higher and we'll ballpark what our return is. Um, again, today we just did 576, but yesterday we did the same. So... 1,152 um, in total. Pardon me, a little heartburn here. And uh, obviously not the largest sample size in the world. Might be the, the largest we've done at a single time. But, um, you know, we'll see how that, uh, you know, our, our actual results uh, compared to what our expectations were. The one that sticks out to me the most, of course, the fact that we did not get a single uh, plus one proj, um, which our expectation was to get about 2.3 of them. Um, uh, it's a one in 500 is the average. So that's a little unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Um, we got a bunch of other cool ones today. Uh, you know, hopefully for those of you, I'm sure many of you have tuned out, tuned out at this point, but for those of you who were at least paying attention at the beginning, who are maybe just coming in to check the conclusion here, um, uh, we did hit quite a few of these really rare modifier ones, as you can see. And I will continue to fill this out as uh, we go through them. So uh, for those of you who want to use this chart, again, in the description below, I will have it linked uh, in order to um, edit it for whatever purposes you'd like um, to match however, oh, to match your data entry or whatever. Um, all you need to do when you get to, so you'll open it like this. Uh, you won't be able to edit it because it's the original. So you, again, go to file. Um, and make a copy, make a copy like that, and then it'll open, and then you'll be able to edit this as you choose. So let's say you're identifying uh, 75, I think it's like 75 to a mirror, right? So there you see. So 75, and it'll tell you um, how many on average you should expect, right? Going through down here, and then you can track them on the right. So that'll be made available to you guys. And um, in terms of the comments on the video, if we get anything from, um, you know, mousing over and hovering over the rest of these jewels, if there's any standouts, I will uh, take an imager, screenshots of them, post them to an imager, and I'll comment that below. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I realize uh, the immediate irony of the fact that I set out with the intention of making this video more streamlined and better and faster than the other one, and I, it actually is the exact same length, perhaps even longer, uh, but hopefully the formatting of it um, and the, uh, you know, obviously the, the rare mods being first should... 
uh, at least um, you know front front load most of the excitement. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments um, as well. I'd actually be really curious to know what your guys' uh, rarest that which was taken was. Um, I tend to uh, focus on things uh, in, a, in with like a, a singular passion and vigor uh, when I am uh, crafting or pursuing anything in PoE. And until I get what I think is the best that I can produce of something, I, I often kind of overdo things. So we might be seeing some more of that which was taken uh, uh, going forward for the rest of the league. And um, I, I don't know if we're done with these bad boys yet. Uh, for myself, uh, believe it or not, the best of that which was taken that I have, in my personal opinion, um, is actually the one that I have equipped. Uh, it's one that I've had since the third day of the league. Um, it is actually, I believe, the rarest uh, that I've seen, the rarest uh, that which was taken possible. Um, not possible, but that I've seen at least on the market. Uh, you can see here I have plus one proj. 3% uh, of armor applies to fire, cold, and lightning damage taken from hits. These are the two rarest mods in the game. Um, but in particular, armor uh, applied to fire, cold, and lightning um is a higher item level requirement than the other one that's a 10 weighting uh, and the plus one proj is 20 weighting uh but not only that we also additionally have projectiles gain damage as they travel further and aoe for power charge so we've just got incredible synergy there um what sticks out for me looking at this initially was uh you know molten strike on a um uh like an armor stacker or something because that would take advantage of all four bots but uh even just using it on a uh dead eye as i am currently um, of course, you get uh, the benefit of, uh, you know, three of them. Well, two of them, really, primarily. I guess the, they have a t small amount of armor and some small use cases for AoE. But, yeah, let me know in the comments what the best one that you have is uh, so that I can read through them and then um, try to pull a Janubu on one of you guys uh, and, uh, you know, casually threaten you to give me your that which was taken before I ban you from my, uh, my trading post and go on a tyrannical rage and then ostracize myself, ostracize myself from the community. It's a... Uh, it's the weekend plan. I think it's a it's a guaranteed recipe for success. Let me know what you think. And also, it helps boost the algorithm. And let's be real. I'm only here for the views, baby. Don't forget to like and sub. Cheers to those of you who watched. Belton, out.